We're watching how a prince loses political power. Senator Lindsey Graham joins me now. Senator Graham, you spent a lot of time with Joe Biden. You guys traveled around the world yeah. together maybe 10 years ago or so. Yeah. Have you noticed a difference? Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Um, so it's not what I think, and you know, I'm a politician. Uh, here's what I think a rule should be. If there's credible evidence that a president is physically or mentally compromised, the president owes it to the country to uh, straighten it out and resolve that doubt. So release the tapes of the five-hour interview. Uh, the special counsel's summary of the interview was unnerving. Every person in the world who's a bad guy read that. I was never more disturbed about our national security uh, after I read that than than any time I can remember, basically says he did it, but no jury would convict him because they don't think he's competent. So I think President Biden, uh, after this statement by the special counsel, not some political hack, owes it to the country to release the tape and take an exam. Senator, you know how the intelligence community works. We now have a five-hour tape that could just be yeah. terminal to the Biden re-election campaign or a second yeah. term. They're dangling it over his head. It could be used at any time, right. released at any moment. Doesn't that put the president in a compromised position? I just don't think it's fair to the American people to have a statement like this unanswered. You know, it, don't attack the special counsel's report. The report says that he was a very nice old man that could not remember basic facts. Now, that's the guy you don't want to be president. So President Biden, not surrogates, owes it to the country to basically put this to rest. Let us listen to the tape to see if it was an accurate summary of the interview. Let the tape speak for itself. And, uh, you know, President Trump's talked about taking an exam. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very worried that all of this is going to make America less safe that there's a belief now in writing that the president's not really up to the job. We're very exposed as a nation, yes. Yeah, we are, uh, and we can already the tell the president's not up to the job by what he's done on the border. Speaking of which, Senator, yeah. they just had a major vote yeah. in the House. <laughs> Mayorkas has been yeah. impeached in the House just by one vote. Yeah. I guess they're going to walk these articles right. at some point over to the Senate. What do you guys do about that in the Senate now if the Democrats control it? Well, they'll probably make a motion to dismiss, and if all the Democrats vote for it, it will never go to trial. But there'll be a requirement by the Senate to dispose of the articles. Here's what I can say. The border is an unmitigated disaster. I'm going down in a couple of days. We have more people crossing the border illegally than any time in history. December was the worst month ever. Mayorkas has abused the parole laws, uh, violently abused the parole laws. He's been a complete disaster. So I can understand the House being upset with the way he's handled the problem. But the root cause of the problem is Joe Biden. They'll replace Mayorkas with somebody else just like him. If you really want a secure border, you better fire Biden and hire Trump. That's a good point. Senator Lindsey Graham, tell everybody in South Carolina I said hello, all right? God bless. Hope they don't put you in a straitjacket. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> They'll try. Thank you, Senator. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.